right now still a very active scene at the site of a gas explosion in Oldham County that injured two people. This as LG&E works to restore service to nearly 2,400 families. The blast happened just before 5 yesterday along Highway 42 in Prospect, not far from Goshen Elementary. The WLKY news chopper is above the scene of the blast right now. You can see right there. Within the past hour, we spoke to a representative from LG&E who wanted customers to know repairs are taking place at this hour. Today, the crews are continuing to make repairs. Uh, this will affect about 2,400 natural gas customers in the immediate area. So right now, our focus is restoring is restoring and repairing as well as the safety of the area. The safety of the area is always our top priority. WLKY's Corey Pippen is live at the scene right now with the latest developments. Corey. Christina, first off, the two men injured in yesterday's explosion worked for Southern Pipeline. They're in good condition today. We're told one has a broken arm and the other has stitches. Now, when the wind shifts, you can actually still smell the gas out here. And residents we spoke to say they're just taking this one step at a time. As you can see, traffic is slow going. Uh, one lane is reopened here um, in Goshen on Highway 42. Uh, one lane is open, as we said, while con crews continue to work. That's definitely an improvement from yesterday when this entire area was closed down and evacuated. We spoke to some residents who say the debris from the explosion could be seen from all around subdivisions here, and the smell of the gas was overwhelming. Of course, traffic isn't the only issue people are dealing with today. As we said, service is still out, and people are asked to be patient. LGNE officials stress the process for, for restoring the natural gas service is extensive, and safety is their first concern. They're going door to door today to relight every pilot light in the area. One homeowner we spoke to says he's already taken precautions. Shut the gas lines off to both the water heater and the furnace. So, uh, cold water laundry, bowl water for washing dishes, pretty much. Cold showers. Yeah, yeah, marine showers. Now we're told LG&E uh, does not have a timeline for how long these repairs could take, but one resident we spoke to says they told him they're hopeful it could be done by either Saturday or Sunday. Live in Goshen, Corey Pippen, WLKY News. Okay, Corey, thank you.